When we talk about productivity tools, it's easy to overlook the humble mouse. After all, it's just a pointer device, right? But if you work on a computer for 8 hours or more every day, the mouse is one of the most important tools you use. It can speed you up, slow you down, or even cause discomfort over time. That's where the Logitech MX Master Series has stood out for years. It's not just about clicks and scrolls, it's about workflow efficiency, comfort, and adaptability. With the leaks pointing toward the MX Master for it's clear Logitech wants to strengthen that lead in a market that's slowly but surely becoming more competitive. Why? This upgrade matters let's put things into perspective. The MX Master 3S is already considered one of the best productivity mice ever made. Its mag speed scroll wheel lets you fly through long documents, its side scroll wheel gives you precise horizontal control, and its ergonomic design reduces hand strain during long work sessions. So, why does an upgrade even matter? Because technology doesn't stand still. Even in the world of productivity mice, expectations are shifting. Higher DPI sensors are becoming standard. Polling rates that once, Seemed good enough now, feel slow on modern high refresh displays, and user feedback over the years has highlighted small but important pain points from material durability to button placement. The MX Master for slash from what we've seen in leaks, addresses these exact areas. Practical benefits of the new design. Extra thumb button might seem small, but it could be a game changer for people who work in complex software. Think about video editors who constantly need quick tool switching, or designers who jump between layers and views. Mapping that new button to a custom shortcut could save seconds every time, and those seconds add up over a day. Dot the reposition gesture button is another smart move. By making it more prominent and easier to feel without looking, Logitech reduces misclicks and speeds up navigation. In creative work, where muscle memory is everything, these little adjustments can make a workflow feel smoother. The top button layout change also has ergonomic benefits. A cleaner, uninterrupted surface for the main buttons means a more consistent click feel and less fatigue from awkward finger positioning and moving the LED battery indicator to the top. That's simple but incredibly practical. No more guessing battery life, mid-project or flipping the mouse to check. Performance and sensor improvements we don't yet have confirmed specs. But the MX Master 4 has the opportunity to fix one of the MX Master 3S's biggest weaknesses. Polling rate, at 125Hz, the 3S feels fine for everyday use. But if you've ever used a 1000Hz mouse, the difference is noticeable. Cursor movement feels smoother and more responsive, which makes precise control easier. For productivity users, that responsiveness isn't just about gaming level accuracy, it's about precision in tasks like photo retouching, CAD modeling, or editing intricate UI designs. If Logitech can bump the polling rate to at least 500Hz without sacrificing battery life, it would bring the MX Master series in line with modern expectations. And if they go all the way to 1000Hz, it would be a serious competitive advantage in the premium productivity segment. How it stacks up against rivals right now. There are other contenders in the premium productivity mouse space. Microsoft's Surface Precision Mouse, Razer's Pro Click, and even some vertical ergonomic mice, like the Logitech Lift, all compete for attention, but each has its compromises. The Surface Precision Mouse is comfortable but lacks the MX Masters. Horizontal Scroll Wheel the Razer Pro Click is lighter and has better polling rates, but it doesn't match the MX Master's ergonomics and build quality. Vertical mice can reduce wrist strain, but they sacrifice multifunction controls. If the MX Master 4 improves performance without losing its trademark comfort and features, it could remain the uncontested leader. The longevity factor one of the MX Master series' biggest selling points is how long each mouse lasts. It's not unusual for people to keep an MX Master for 4 or 5 years before upgrading, that's partly why Logitech spaces out updates, they know. Their customers aren't looking for a yearly cycle, but that also means every new release has to justify its existence. If you're going to spend over $100 on a mouse when your current one still works, it needs to offer clear benefits. For the MX Master 4, those benefits could be more intuitive button placement, higher performance specs, improved material durability, better battery visibility, and charging convenience. Potential AI integration One intriguing speculation from the leaks is that the new button could be marketed as an AI prompt button. This would make sense in 2025, as AI tools are becoming more common in creative and productivity work. Imagine pressing a dedicated button to trigger an AI action, summarizing text, generating code, snippets, or creating quick design variations without breaking your flow. If Logitech leans into this, it could position the MX Master for as not just a productivity mouse. But a next-gen work assistant, final thoughts on the MX Master 4's role in 2025 from what we know so far? The MX Master 4 isn't going to reinvent the concept of a productivity mouse. It doesn't need to. Its strength lies in refinement, making small, targeted changes that solve real user complaints while preserving what works dot better performance. Smarter button placement and subtle design tweaks might not sound groundbreaking, 
but for the people who rely on these mice daily, they could be transformative. If Logitech delivers on these expectations, the MX Master for could easily maintain its position as the gold standard for professionals, creatives, and anyone who demands the best from their tools. And if they manage to integrate AI workflow triggers in a way that feels natural, they won't just keep the crown, they'll set a new benchmark that competitors will scramble to match.